This country has a wonderful history of political catchphrases. From Patrick Henry's give me liberty or give me death to drain the swamp, first uttered by Ronald Reagan. Today, perhaps one of the most popular political catchphrases is fake news. It's simple, it's direct, it's versatile, and too often, it's a misnomer. Fake news has been around for as long as this country has, but the speed of social media has made fake news an international phenomenon that some experts believe could have had an actual impact on the last presidential election. Fake news can be motivated by profit or politics. Rarely is it motivated by journalism. During the 2016 presidential election, a small town in Macedonia tapped into what the New York Times called a digital gold mine. Savvy young Macedonians created 140 U.S. political websites and began drumming out fake stories about Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump, and many other political flavors of the day. Each time a person clicked on these fake stories, the purveyors of the fake news would be paid. Recently, though, many news consumers use the term fake news when they disagree with a news story. The Monitor does not publish fake news. We may publish unflattering news, bad news, or news that's controversial. But let's be clear, we do not knowingly publish fake news. Like those kids in Macedonia. We are taking part in a campaign recently launched by Facebook in partnership with the Associated Press. And we ask you to join this campaign. So if you come across an item that you believe is fake news while on Facebook, click on the button that says report post. It will take you to different options for why you're reporting the post, including one that says it's a fake news story. If you click on that, Facebook will log the post and send it to AP. Experts at AP will fact check those posts and send its conclusions back to Facebook. Facebook will warn you if you want to share a post that is questionable, and you can still share the story but you do so knowing that the story is questionable or outright fake. That's how the Monitor is helping to combat fake news. Because our objective is simple. Report the facts.